Hey guys! It feels like it's been forever since I've filmed a video in front of the camera that wasn't a voiceover Halloween tutorial, so I figured I would jump in and do my October beauty favorites because I didn't do one last month and I haven't really shown any of you what I've been enjoying for makeup products recently as far as normal makeup products. I'm kind of trying to deal with my background. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I'm trying to like come up with new glittery backgrounds, but I had to go with it because I haven't filmed in so long. Um, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Halloween and you got to dress up and do something fun. I had to work, but I had fun doing some Halloween looks for you guys on camera. So anyway, if you guys want to see all of my October beauty favorites, then keep on watching. I've been absolutely obsessed with this Kat Von D tattoo liner and I have mine in the black shade which is called Trooper. It's just a felt tip liner. It's got a really nice fine point so it makes getting that wing like super easy and super sharp and on point. If you had to touch up your eyeshadow, I did notice this kind of rubs off really easily. So I don't know if you would want to set it with like a gel liner or just use this to get the sharp tail or what. So if you're not going to disturb your eyelid, then it works fine. But if you have to go in and do some touch ups, then it does kind of tend to flake off. But as far as the pigmentation and the ease of making a winged liner, this stuff has been bomb. The blush that I have been wearing nonstop through the entire month of October has been this Hourglass blush in Mood Exposure. It's an ambient blush, so it does have a swirl of the pigment in there as well as a swirl of the um, ambient lighting powder. So I am wearing it on my cheeks today. It's basically like this mauve purple tone and it's really, really smooth. It is mixed in with their ambient lighting powder. So it gives you that nice glow. I mean, it is absolutely smooth and stunning for the fall. Loving that. Next is the color that I'm wearing on my lips today. It is my Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Truffle. I know everyone and their moms have been talking about this and reason being is, I mean, it's stunning. And on camera, it does show up a tiny bit more pink, um, but in person, it's a little bit more um, like a brownie pink nude. So it does have a little bit of brown in there. So absolutely loving that. The Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick Formula lasts me all day long. It's not super drying. I found some liquid lipsticks by the end of the night like suck the moisture right out of my lips and my lips are flaking. This doesn't do that to me. I pop a tiny bit of chapstick on the center of my lips throughout the day and it lasts all day long. I can drink my coffee, drink water, and whatever, and it doesn't transfer. I absolutely love this formula of liquid lipsticks. Okay, so this next item I died to get my hands on and it has been raved about so much on the internet and I'm sure you've all heard of it. It is the Morphe Brushes 350 palette. It is everything that everyone's been saying that it is. I mean, it is just absolutely stunning. It's like a warm, neutral girl's dream for a palette. I think they're like $23 and a lot of people do have coupon codes for like 10% off so you can get them for super cheap. And this one does have 35 shadows. So you get 35 shadows for like $23 and then if you use a discount code, I mean less than a dollar a shadow. It's absolutely amazing. The shadows, they're so creamy and so pigmented. I mean, look at that right there. They are absolutely out of this world for eyeshadows, honestly. I mean, look at that. That's just quick, like a couple of stripes. Absolutely beautiful. That is, really? That is that the worst swatch that I've ever done in my entire life? I am wearing this palette on my eyes today. I'm wearing no other shadows. I've been reaching for this non-stop all the orange shades, they look like a little bit scary, but if you blend them in with your crease into a brown shade, it's going to make the shades pop and the creamy, like pigmented, shimmery shades for all over the lid. You can do no wrong with this palette. A beautiful smoky eye, a super simple look. Loving Morphe right now. Absolutely loving them. Definitely going to do a tutorial using this palette. I know there are a ton on the internet, but I don't care. I want my piece too. Mm -hmm. 
You guys have heard me talk about this stuff. I mean, you're probably sick of me talking about Glam Glow, but I don't care. Um, the Glam Glow White, it's like the clearing treatment mask. Oh, okay. I didn't realize until I ran out of this how important this was in my skincare routine. Between doing my Halloween tutorials and wearing all kinds of cream products and behind the scenes I tested out a couple different Halloween looks that didn't make the cut for um, on YouTube, but between applying all of that, working a ton, I haven't been eating the healthiest so my skin has just been so reacting and breaking out a ton and I was reaching for like my Myro Badescu um, spot treatment, which is good, but not for the type of breakouts that I get. I get the really deep ones, and I feel like that stuff just dried out the top layer of my skin, and then it just was a hot mess. So instantly, this stuff works overnight. I pop it on my breakouts, and then overnight, I leave it on and wash it off in the morning, and literally the inflammation of my breakouts are diminished. The redness is almost gone. It's not it doesn't dry out my skin, at least for me, I find it's not drying, but this stuff is a miracle worker and now that I know I can't live without it, I'm not ever going to live without it. So loving that. The only thing is, if you don't use it a ton, then it can dry out. So try to get your hands on the travel size. If you haven't seen it, I do have a review on it. Um, I can link that video down below. It's one of my older videos, but it does the trick. So I'll link that down below. The next item that I've been loving is my, it's called Boulevard Mineral Cosmetics. It's the shampoo brush, sham, it's the brush, shampoo, and conditioner. I got this from morphebrushes.com and I found out about this through, I think, Desi Perkins here on YouTube. She was raving about it on Snapchat and I had to get my hands on it. So I got my scent in lemongrass. It's just a very faint lemony fresh scent and oh, so I tried this out you guys and I'm not sure if you, any of you have the beauty blender but you know it's kind of difficult to clean these things. Like the first couple times you clean them, they're great but once you get some foundation like in it and concealer in it, they're kind of hard to clean. I get my beauty blender soaking wet underwater and I just run it underwater and swish it around in this stuff and it comes off like that, like a dream. And bonus, this is two ounces and I think the beauty blender solid cleanser is only like one ounce or something like that. Anyway, this is literally almost double the size and my beauty blender and my brushes, I use it to clean my found. This is dirty because I use it today, but I use it to clean this foundation brush, which is so dense that the foundation gets like right in there and it's really hard to get it squeaky clean. I just swirl this under the water and into this and it comes off like a dream. And afterwards, this is called like a shampoo and conditioner for your brushes. Afterwards, my brushes are really, really soft. It feels like they legit got a splash of conditioner. I will link it down below so you guys can see. It does compare like for pricing, I think it's $18. Well, the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser is this much. I'll put that here or something. So it's definitely worth it. You get double the product. Go and check this out. It's again called Boulevard Mineral Cosmetics, BLVD as an abbreviation. I have been loving my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick and I didn't know if I would like it. I kind of picked it up to try it as a sample and basically it's just in a stick form so I thought it might be drying or really thick but it's not at all. It's super like goes on super super creamy and just glides right on. It's not too thick. I've been blending it out with this Morphe M439 brush. Like sometimes I'll spray this first with Fix Plus if I want a nice dewy finish but I mean it blends out like a dream. I don't even have to try and it's gone. It doesn't, it's not like thick or anything. It just is absolutely amazing. For me right now I'm really dry so I can't tell you if it's a super dewy foundation for someone who's oily. But for me, as a super dry person, it goes on as like a natural satin finish. If I do use Fix Plus, it's more of a satin, kind of a glowy, dewy finish. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on my skin. People tell me skin looks really good and I look in the mirror throughout the day and I'm like, oh, damn, my skin looks really good right now. 
I mean, you can get like different shades too. If you got like the um, darker shade, you can use it as a contouring stick. That would be really nice. And because it's HD, it looks really good on camera and in, and in uh, flash photography. So loving that. And last but not least, I have been using this stuff every single day, no matter what, since I got it. I first got the travel size and I had to pick up the big size. This is my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I've been using it every single day. Basically, I will dip my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender into it once my concealer has set and pack it all on. Popping it wherever I put my concealer, like on my forehead where I don't want the shine to be and baking with that powder. And then once I once I blend it all away, my skin looks flawless. Absolutely flawless. The shine doesn't come through. I have a really like protruding brow bone right here that always catches the light and looks really shiny. And I found that when I wear that powder right here in the center of my eyebrows and then set my under eyes with it, my under eyes don't crease. They look flawless. It's not drying. It's not cakey. It's not powdery. It's absolutely amazing. It comes in this huge tub. It's um, 29 grams. It is one ounce, but it's got a ton of powder in it. It looks a little bit of a beige, like a beige color in the tub, but it doesn't show off any color when you apply it to your skin. So that is going to do it for all of my beauty favorites for October. Let me know what you guys have been enjoying for all of your beauty products, facials, skincare, makeup, anything, leave them in the comments down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.